Welcome back to GTA Story Mode. Um, today we're back with Devon Weston, equally known as the Gay Guinea Pig. Um, whoa, you fucking dick. And we should be able to meet him right in here. Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. You're a real bitch. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? This is kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Good hobby. so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that... I will ask so many questions, you will question your entire life. And pile of money. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, to be fair, coming from him, Trevor looks normal. Alright, cheers. This just looks like a regular car to me. It looks average. Go to the gas station. This car's shit. Bis, why did, why did you do that? And, uh, boop. Shortcut. There they, there they are. The big fat wankers. Oh, they've got so much cooler cars than me. So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. That was the deadest trash talk I've ever seen. Can I make one of them crash? Because if I can, that's that will make this the best game of all time. Shit! I can't make him crash. The racers were spooked. It's not fucking Halloween. That was some clean ass racing, by the way. You know what? I could be a professional racer. Look at me. You prick. Why would you stop? Oh look, it's the village people! I am not following you in there. I am gonna stick with these two. That's not true, I've been waiting for 15 years for happiness. Definitely racist. I don't care about this bit. Come on, let's go. Actually, I care about being Franklin. That's what I care about. Why did it just do a fat animation just to do that? I have much more than an asshole. I have a dick. I have a head. I'm a dickhead. This is, this is where, yep. Yeah. I knew it. I called it. Just outside of it. Got you. Okay, well, I am first. Those two tied. I don't I can't be bothered to pick one out. That's great. Don't care. Why am I now Michael? The Solomon Richards ones are kind of boring. Okay. We'll stick with uh Frank for now. Cuz he can actually do the interesting missions. Where the fuck is my car? Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You come here, you fat little bitch. Yeah, no running for you. Oh, you've got a few pounds on you. Which car did I leave? Oh, no, I don't want you. Oh, what the fuck? Where's my other car? I came here in a black car that was really nice. Why are you topless? You are fucking fat. I'm getting my car, I don't care what any of you say. 
I'm pissed off. My car's gone. I don't know where it is. So, instead of doing the Devon Western missions and communicating with that fat fucking weasel, we're going to just end up shooting everyone. We're going to do some assassinations. We're getting a telephone call. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. No. Watch the prostitute. Great. I've gone from fucking shooting people to watching prostitutes. This whole place gives me the fucking creeps. Hey baby, what can I get for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. To be fair, ten bucks is quite low. I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need at least fifty quid before I do anything. Assassinate the target. Kaboom! That might have been overkill. I actually feel kind of bad for the prostitute, but she chose to get in the get in the life of crime and sex work. So not my problem. Okay, well that was quick. Uh, made me feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Oh, five grand! I'm gonna leave this video here, and I shall see you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.